Uh, hi, I'm, I'm Jeno. I'm from India. We're building CoinWise. Uh, CoinWise, and we build tools for creators to build uh, story-led Web3 communities. On CoinWise, any creator can mint a token and, and distribute the, those tokens with a click. These tokens represent ownership in a creator's work, uh, and our focus is distributing ownership in meaningful ways. Um, we see creators often use the platform for not only minting the token, but for doing airdrops, for rewarding early supporters, creating quests, for rewarding uh, contributions from the community, and creating vesting schedules uh, for key stakeholders. Uh, since we have a repository of creators that use the platform, um, you can search for any creator and see how they're using the platform and directly engage with them and uh, engage with the quests or the rewards they've created. Um, and some of the tools that you use on, on CoinWise, um, you can see rich information on who your top supporters are, uh, token information uh, from relevant block explorers and settings where you can bridge the token across different networks. Um, our whole thesis around building this platform is uh, enabling uh, creators to capture the full demand curve uh, and creating long-term economic and value alignment. Uh, this uh, whole platform is built around uh, creating stronger engagement and member retention uh, from some of the community members that use the platform. Um, over the last six uh, months, we've seen uh, $3 million in revenue. We've seen 3x increase in member retention and over 95% of the content that has been produced in these DAOs or Web3 communities is directly contributed from community members. This, um, this somewhat creates a value creation or, um, or content creation, a multiplayer game. Uh, a lot of the creators that use the platform today are media DAOs, advertising DAOs, or NFT collector communities, but we've seen really unique um, use cases with over 225 tokens that have been minted on the platform. While a lot of our um, existing vision is built around um, creating essential tooling for um, operating Web3 communities, our ultimate goal is to be the DAO of DAOs. Uh, some of the next updates we're working on right now is adding token economics on the dashboard and programmable incentives so that you can reward tokens for NFT sales uh, or snapshot proposals uh, or other incentives on different platforms. So uh, it's time to exit the Web2 creator economy. Some of the problems we're solving are built around, like I said, participation and engagement, um, better incentive alignment and, and independence and ownership. Um, of content for creators. So if you're interested in some of the problems we're solving, we're hiring right now. Um, so you can reach out to us or learn more at jobs.kindwise.co. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks, Janiel. There's, there's a, a couple kinds of pitches. One where you have to sell the investor that there's a big company that would be built in, in this space that someone will do it. And yeah. then another type of pitch where the investor is already sold and they, now they have to, on, on the product or the, that someone will do it. And now it's just, why will you do it? And both of these right. pitches, I've been sold. Okay, the mail merch video will exist. Okay, this th this will exist. I've seen a number of people doing it. And now I'm, I'm and this will be big. And now I'm wondering, um, what is like what is your unique unfair advantage relative to the other teams I've seen, whether it's what advantages you, you bring or the approach that you're taking? H how would you answer that question? Yeah, so if, we, if you're comparing with some of the other Web3 platforms that are working on similar tooling that we're working on, uh, what we're focusing right now is building completely essential tooling that uh, we know that every community is going to use and making it significantly better, 10x better, uh, and making it really easy for creators to understand. Uh, a lot of the problems around uh, what we've built is not a technology problem, it's a context or a utility problem. Up until now, we, we didn't see like any utility around tokens being created or any context around why these DAOs exist. But we now saw like real use cases. And um, I think that's, uh, that's what our value proposition is, is some of the uh, creators that are using the platform and um, the tools that we've built are like 10X uh, better than anything that's, um, else that's out there. Um, now going forward, we're gonna see like Web2 platforms uh, integrate crypto to their backend. Um, but again, our business model or the way we work is uh, in a very bad free native way uh, where we don't charge any platform fees uh, or transaction fees. So that's something we, that we can compete with. Um, I don't know if that answers your question. I feel like um, either Eric is extremely deep in thought or we have lost him. Um, Janiel, I'll, lost him. Yeah, I'll ask you the final question and then we'll move on. Hopefully we'll recover uh, Eric cool. from the internet ether. Um, like, you know, five, 10 years from now, how do you think the 
creator or uh, market will look any different than it is today. Like paint us a picture of, you know, when CoinVise is really successful and big, yeah. How will that change our day-to-day -day lives? Um, a lot of our um, thesis is built around sovereignty. Um, we want like five, 10 years from now, we want um, these creators to uh, build communities that look um, like cities of their own, like digital economies, and they operate completely autonomously. Do you where, think that corporate yeah. brands are dead? is kind of another thing I've been wondering, meaning it does seem like whether it's through Instagram or through something like CoinVise, where truly an influencer now has the ability of a sovereign, you know, to mint their own currency, um, right. are corporate brands dead? And is it all going to be like the, you know, the rocks uh, tequila and um, aviation gin all the way down? I don't think corporates, uh, corporate brands uh, are dead. I think they'll they'll continue to work. Um, it's just offering a much better alternative um, to, to what you can create. And once you start seeing that uh, you can now contribute to multiple DAOs and earn uh, a larger income uh, or economic freedom than how you would work for Google or, or, or other companies, um, you'll start to see a shift from people switching over and, and they'll start to switch to uh, more native ways of, of working uh, for communities or just operating autonomously, but right? they don't have to uh, work with corporations anymore. So, yeah. Uh, you do wonder if the parasocial relationship that one has with a celebrity, say over Instagram, maybe fueled at some point economically by CoinVise will just be permanently more powerful than the relationship anyone can have with a static brand. Uh, but anyway, right. um, it's super interesting. I think you're riding a huge wave, you know, both in web two and web three. We're going to let people catch up with you over chat um, uh, uh, because we're out of time on this presentation. Great work. Thank you. Gio. Thank you. Thanks. Love